In the last few months, VTubers have hit a massive, massive popularity boost. Po probably because of the quarantine, but... Since Project Melody, interest in VTubers has been getting higher and higher and higher, and the more you're seeing them is increasing dramatically every day. Who can blame them? They're pretty great. And you'll bleed for three what to five the? days from your vagina. Ew, yikes forever. But it is- ah! So, I think it's about time that I... throw my hat in the ring. Not on this channel, of course. Not on Spooky Butter, of course. The channel that I was going to use for my live streaming is being converted into that, and I will also be making a Twitch for it eventually. So I will link the channel down below for you guys to go sub to, because I will be revealing the design choice and doing a duo stream with Goms pretty soon. Not not right away, but within the, by the end of the month or within next month, we will be doing it. With that out of the way, what else comes with a massive craze that people love? People hating said massive craze. So let's take a look at people hating VTubers. And not like the last one with the Project Melody where it was Cam Horrors hating it. But one thing we're gonna start with is um something that uh should have been pretty obvious from when she did it. Pokimane decided to throw her hat in the ring. Cast it into the fire! Destroy it! No. With literally the most generic uninteresting design she possibly could have chosen, which is pretty difficult to do in this situation. Yeah, she chose this. Good job! And the internet hates it. Not only that, one of the most ridiculous situations surrounding VTubers that I've ever seen literally just happened. A VTuber named Coco brought up a demographic reading for her YouTube channel to show where her viewers were. And for simply mentioning that she had viewers in Taiwan, she got fucking obliterated off of Chinese platforms, and Chinese fans just started hating her, and hating her so brutally, for mentioning Taiwan. Yeah! Baba boy. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Are you serious? That is the most fucking pathetic thing I've ever heard. One that China has managed to get so far into its citizens' heads, that they're willing to go that far, specifically because someone mentions a country that China does not exactly recognize. Secondly, it's fucking Taiwan. Who cares? The main problem people are seeing, or the main problem that some people are seeing, is that VTubers are threatening the jobs of real creators. The fuck is that supposed to mean? That doesn't make any sense. Let's say if your Let's Plays were threatened, by the fact that there are VTubers that exist, then your Let's Plays probably weren't that interesting in the first place. If you're somebody like Markiplier, where you have a personality, a good personality that people like to watch play video games, they're still gonna watch it. It doesn't matter if there's a fucking cute anime girl, if they like Markiplier, they're gonna watch Markiplier. The reason that VTubing is a good thing, in, at least in my opinion, is that people don't have to worry about what they look like, they don't have to dress up and, like, completely make themselves up every day for streams or whatever, and they can, they can honestly do far more and feel safer with a virtual model rather than their own face. And as far as what I plan on doing with it, I plan on just streaming, setting up a schedule, and just doing it every week. Um, but I, I know I haven't uploaded on Spooky Butter in a while, but it's October, and I'm going to be uploading on it a bunch this month. If I don't, shoot me, because I really want to keep uploading on there, because I really like doing the spooky stuff. I just, for some reason, pushed back the Siren Head video, and crashed, and just didn't do it. Half of it is edited, so I will be finishing it up and putting it out as soon as possible. But right now, I'm still working on that collab, and it's a pain in the ass. I've only got two minutes of it edited. That's not good. 